So, I'm an adult, and in line with my personal beliefs, yes, I do look forward to intimacy with you. Only, it has to mean something. How can it not mean something? <laughs> it could, primarily if the relationship is not sufficiently grounded. And by grounded, you mean... I mean going somewhere, have a future. But no relationship has the guarantee of ending in marriage or some other similar permanent arrangement. Mm. A, re a relationship can fail despite each partner's best efforts at making it work. No one knows the future. No. That's impossible without some sort of divine foreknowledge. But there has to be honesty and integrity with the best intentions. I'm not sure I want to sleep with a man casually. You know, just to scratch an itch. Hi. So, uh, um, work? It was good. <clears throat> Great, yeah. You? Same old. Another, another day in the office. So, you hear the silence? The hesitation? The nervousness between two people normally at ease with each other. That's because it's happening. It's like the start of your relationship all over again. Same awkward pauses as you think about what to say next. The same uncertainty. Will she? Won't she? Will he? Won't he? There is only one thing that does that to a relationship. It's a whole new level of engagement. It's intimacy. Getting physical. Hitting third base. Sex makes a relationship beautiful. But it can also complicate the heck out of it. <clears throat> So, here we are. <laughs> here we are. Do you want to start? <laughs> start what? <clears throat> you know, set boundaries, that kind of a thing. <laughs> boundaries? I thought we decided on this talk to agree if there were going to be boundaries at all. And, you know, what type, if any? <clears throat> okay. I like where this is headed already. <laughs> So, we get to discuss all our quirky fantasies? <laughs> You're a hopeless, Kachi. Stop making this more difficult than it already is. That's what I don't get, actually. That it's difficult, I mean. It's just two consenting adults in a consensual relationship. One would suppose it's almost intuitive. <laughs> I know why, actually. The awkwardness, I mean. You do? Yeah. Enlighten me, I beg. <laughs> okay. So, it's different when you really like the other party. You know, you get anxious about the outcome. Not so much for yourself, but, you know, for your partner, of course. You want to have a good time, too, but the focus is usually externalized. Especially for the first time, I think. It's not that way if it's uh, more casual. You know, when you're not really into the person involved. Like one night stands? You do get around, don't you, girl? <laughs> oh, shut up. I've never had a one night stand in my life. Not that it's anybody's business if I've had. Oh, I'll make it so much my business. The other fella had better be headed out of the country. <laughs> Are you going to be serious? I'm a nervous wreck already because I don't want this to go wrong. Sex makes people crazy, you know? I'm just pushing for some relief from the tension. Mm. I get what you mean about it being good for your partner. I think the guy is under that much more pressure in that regard. Uh, uh, that's a bit male dominion crappy, don't you think? 
I mean, who says you should be solely responsible for the best outcome? Well, movies, books, and music videos that show the guy running about like a peacock <laughs> trying to impress a chick <laughs> while she's just, you know, smiling and looking pretty cool as a cucumber. Mm. Is that not a representation of the real world? Or have I been acting the wrong script all my life? <laughs> Poor you. So you are going to do a mating dance for me, I expect. I mean, you look marvelous as a peacock, darling boy. <laughs> now you're making light of a serious matter. Can we get to it already? <laughs> we can. Your trick worked, by the way. I'm not so nervous anymore. So, I assume it's going to happen? Mm, interesting question. You don't think it's automatic? I mean, expected even. Many men do. Of course not. There is any number of reasons why either party may want to postpone physical intimacy. You know, religion and faith, personal choices, culture, or even health. Or just the good sense of waiting to see if you have a real connection before you hit the shits. I mean, for many, sex is an anticlimax because after it, the relationship has nowhere else to go because they didn't take the time to build real rapport connect on a personal level yeah i see it anyway for the record this is by no means a done deal thank you for being a gentleman now as to the question let's be real of course it is absolutely on the table <sighs> great to hear <laughs> great to say but seriously I feel we have something, and I'm excited to explore that all the way. The how, when, and in what situation of it, though. That's another jam question altogether. Okay. What are your thoughts on that? So, I'm no prude. God knows I've catalogued my own share of stuff I can't tell my mom. <laughs> <laughs> However... I'm still not exactly a party girl, you know? I know. It's totally fine. In fact, I respect that. Aw, thanks. <laughs> What's that alarm every time we talk at night? <laughs> I know, right? It's from my neighbor's apartment. I don't know why his alarm comes up every three hours. <laughs> so, I'm an adult, and in line with my personal beliefs, yes, I do look forward to intimacy with you. Only it has to mean something. How can it not mean something? <laughs> it could, primarily if the relationship is not sufficiently grounded. And by grounded, you mean? I mean going somewhere, have a future. But no relationship has the guarantee of ending in marriage or some other similar permanent arrangement. Mm. A, re a relationship can fail despite each partner's best efforts at making it work no one knows the future no that's impossible without some sort of divine foreknowledge but there has to be honesty and integrity with the best intentions i'm not sure i want to sleep with a man casually you know just to scratch an itch it may not be a problem for lots of women but this is me wait do, do you realize you're saying sex should only be allowed in a relationship that leads to marriage? Or even in only a marriage? Well, it's the position of many cultures and faith. My mom told me she was a virgin when she lay on a matrimonial bed for the first time. <laughs> time and place to me. This is the 21st century. Call me old-fashioned then. And don't get me wrong... Every girl or woman out there has the right to decide what works for them. No judgment. But then, if I do decide that I'd like the intimacy of a sexual relationship with just one committed partner for life, I don't expect to raise eyebrows either. Oh, but you will do that. Lots of eyebrows. And your own chest might be inclusive. You don't expect it's going to be easy on you, do you? You know what they say. <laughs> <laughs> but you know be wood completely and by the way is this an ongoing operation or one you dreamed up after we met 
<laughs> Is that your roundabout way of asking if I'm a virgin, Kachi? Well, I would hardly be the gentleman you consider me if I said yes to that. But anything you care to share voluntarily would be valued. Well, let's have you remain a gentleman. And I, a lady with a secret... Secret? <laughs> hmm. I guess, to be honest, I was expecting something. But certainly not this. <laughs> I bet. Society generally anticipates its women to toe a particular line morally these days. Sorry if I disappoint. You don't. Or at least not in the way you may think. As a full-blooded male, of course, I have certain expectations, physically speaking. It's nothing I cannot deal with, though. And may I just say... Wow. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself, young man. Most guys will have run for the hills at the first mention of less weight. Don't be too impressed yet. I may still head that way. It's not exactly going to be a picnic, you know. Really? I would have thought it's a matter of perspective. Care to explain? <laughs> Gladly. I mean, why is the world so sexually permissive today? A century ago, the most liberated societies on earth right now would have been absolutely scandalized to see a tenth of what passes for acceptable sexual behavior these days. I mean, what changed? Well, knowledge for one. With travel and advancement in science and technology, people grew more confident of and with themselves. Man became a thinker, not a mere receiver of customs, traditions, and religious laws. So, perspective... Human beings decided to answer to themselves only. Anything goes, so long as you believe it's your truth. In a nutshell, yeah. Have we fared so well as a consequence, though? There's never been such an upsurge in unplanned pregnancies, many of those by teenagers. Despite pro choice or abortion laws, STDs like HIV AIDS continue to ravage whole populations. More kids are growing up in single-parent homes. Which social studies have proven to be less ideal than a two-parent, husband-wife parental arrangement? When do we put on the brakes? When do we question ourselves about the price we continue to pay for unbridled permission? Okay, it's official. <laughs> that I'm a crazy placard-waving crusader? <laughs> well... The world needs her crusaders, and a difference of opinion doesn't make you insane. And I was going to say, it's official that I'm hooked up to a real-life idealist, maybe a radical, too. <laughs> well, if I am, I'm the weakest one yet. My body betrays me every day I see you. All I want to do is jump on your abs and get really down with those fantasies you mentioned. In the end, you may have to be the strong one for both of us. I warn you, that's like enlisting a boggler to guard your gates. <laughs> I am pro-freaky all the way. Mm, and you get your chance, boy. You know... Sex is a natural and basic appetite to me. If anything, the unnatural thing is the restrictions we place in its way. Mm. Then you disagree with my theories? I see your point. I was talking, though, of constrained society places on its habitants. Long engagements, expensive marriage ceremonies... No wonder young people are bucking the system and going out to get exactly what they want now. In the good old prehistoric pre-society days, I would just have carried you off to my cave the day I first saw you and be done with that. <laughs> I don't even have to say caveman mentality. It's self-descriptive. But I do agree that marriage should be less encumbered. I don't need a million dollars and a thousand people I don't know in attendance to say I do. Now that's progressive thinking that I can get behind. 
cut out all the red tape, maybe in the end, that's the real problem. It's a thought. So we'll continue to talk about this. We'll talk. And hopefully soon. We'll also do. <laughs> I do like a naughty man. Mm. I'd better end this conversation. My trousers are getting too tight. And I'm sure you can guess why. <laughs> I know the feeling. So, tomorrow, talk more. Tomorrow, talk more. Good night, boyfriend. I just want you to know that I feel really, really lucky that you're mine. Oh, good night, precious. <laughs>